Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial, today's topic is, Neurograins. Basically, the brain implants we use today are bulky and often record a single or up to two locations. Conventional brain implants are currently used for post-injury body rehabilitation, memory enhancement, prosthetic limb communication, disease treatment, and other purposes. However, they are not much of a help. For paralyzed people, most brain computer interface systems currently use one or two sensors to sample up to a few hundred neurons, but neuroscientists and researchers are now looking into developing systems that can collect data from a much larger group of brain cells. One of the big challenges in the field of brain computer interfaces is engineering ways of probing as many points in the brain as possible. So, here, experts at Brown University, the University of California, and Baylor University collaborated to create tiny sensors that communicate wirelessly in an effort to find a new approach to brain computer interfaces. Neurograins. Neurograins are totally wireless microscale implants that can detect and transmit electrical activity in the brain. It uses a coordinated network of independent and wireless microscale neural sensors to capture and trigger brain activity. This tiny small chip is about the same size as a grain of salt. These microchips that can perform brain sensing and electrical microstimulation on their own. These tiny sensors connect to an external telecom hub or network through a 1 gigahertz electromagnetic transcutaneous link, allowing bidirectional communication and control at the device level. An individual neurograin microdevice is 100 microns in size and incorporates microelectronic chiplets, with circuitry for radio frequency energy harvesting, neural sensing, cortical microstimulation, and sophisticated networked bidirectional wireless telemetry, all of which are implemented using cutting-edge complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology. The devices are hermetically sealed for long-term reliability through the use of novel thin-layer packaging approaches that require minimal packaging volume overhead. External, wearable skin patch radios manage power delivery and telecommunications with the implant network and are also capable of real-time data processing for readout of neural data and write-in of neuromodulatory stimulation. The round-trip communication latency across a 1,000-channel network is kept within physiological resolution limits, millisecond scale, circuit design, embedded systems development, microfabrication, integration, and packaging, radio frequency telephony, brain decoding, and neurological surgery are all key technologies for the neurograin. The researchers have now stated that they have a working system after testing it on a mouse brain. Because of the small size and surface area of this brain, they were only able to use 48 neurograins, but the system can scale up to 770 nanograins, which is enough to cover a brain like ours. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.